Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Adrian Cross. So guys, today in this video, I'd like us to take a look at this 17 CD box set that I've just recently purchased. Now, this was first released in 2009 from King Records. And I've seen this from time to time appear on eBay. And to be honest, guys, I have fancied picking this box set up before, but I know I've got most of the concerts contained within this box set. So it sort of put me off before. Um, but I saw it recently and I thought, I'm going, to take, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to buy this box set now. So I paid £80 for it which I thought wasn't too bad for a 17 CD box set. But after I'd purchased this one, I noticed that I could have got it from a, an alternate seller for £60. So I would, I would have been gutted that I spent a, an extra £20 when I didn't really have to. But nevertheless, uh, I paid my money and I got my box set. And it's, it's great, guys. I do like it. Um, yeah, we've, we've taken a look at the box let's turn it over that's the thickness of the box guys obviously it uh old 17 cd so it's going to be pretty thick so that's the top of it and that's the spine yeah now if we turn it over you'll see all the albums contained within this uh, box now the first thing that struck me was the titles for all these concerts now i recognize all these from years ago and obviously it was first released in 2009 so, you know, these, these albums have been out quite a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, beautiful. Nevertheless, uh, it's a limited uh, edition of 1000. And you, as you can see, this is 930. So, yeah, guys, uh, really happy with this. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the CDs, the tracks and the venues. And there's a little booklet and all, so we'll finish the video by taking a look at the booklet as well. So we'll turn that over, we'll put that to one side, and we'll bring in the first disc. So guys, as you can see, it's a pretty plain front cover. Now I have to say, this design is the front cover for all the other 16 CDs, so you're not gonna see anything new on the other front covers so this is it really so we'll turn it over and we'll take a look at the track listing and the venue so as you can see guys this is a concert from jacksonville florida on the 25th of april 1975 and as you can see the show is incomplete yeah great show from 1975 guys wonderful so we'll bring the second cd in and like i said same design all the cds so we'll turn it straight over and this one's from the cow palace in san francisco on november the 28th 1976. now i don't know if gina's watching but gina uh from australia did attend this concert uh yeah great concert absolutely great so we'll put that on there and that's disc two so this is the third one, guys. Straight over, turn it straight over. And this is Goodbye Memphis. So this is Elvis's last appearance in Memphis, Tennessee on the 5th of July, 1976. And quite a long show, guys. It goes over two CDs, does this? So this is the first CD of the Memphis concert. Yeah, put that over there. And we'll bring the fourth one in. So this is disc four, guys. I'll turn it straight over. And that is the conclusion of the Memphis concert and Toledo on April the 23rd, 1977. And as you can see, another incomplete concert and a couple of extras at the bottom there. So that's disc four. I'll bring the fifth one in. It is quite a boring front cover. I, I, I do wish that they used uh, relevant pictures from the shows, but never mind. So this is called Keeping the Fire. Uh, yeah, Keeping the Fire Burning. And this is for, from Murfreesboro, Tennessee on the 7th of May, 1975. That's a full concert and that is a great concert, guys. 
Now, all the sound quality on these are brilliant, guys. They are really, really clear. So this is disc six. We'll turn this straight over. And this album is called A Matter of Time. It's A Matter of Time. And this is from the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas, 5th of February, 1973. Another great show. Yeah, on there. Disc seven. So we'll turn the disc seven over. And this is live at the International in Las Vegas, January 25th, 1970. Hmm. So that's disc seven, guys. We're in disc eight in. Turn it over. And this is Desert Storm. So this is Elvis's closing night at the Las Vegas Hilton on the 2nd of September, where you get the drug dialogue, where, where Elvis talks about rumors of him and drugs. So that's uh, CD one, and it's a long show, guys, so this also goes over two discs. So that's disc eight, and this one's disc nine. We'll turn it over, and that is the conclusion of Desert Storm and the closing night on September the 2nd, 1974. Yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. So we'll just bring disc 10 in. So this is disc 10, guys. And this concert is from Macon, Georgia on the 24th of April, 1975. And as you can see, another incomplete concert, but uh, very good, very good listening that one. Another good one. Disc 11. Let's turn that one over. And um, this one's called Mike's Been a Long Time. Now, this is from Greensboro, North Carolina, on the 30th of June, 1976. Um, I know Elvis gets slated for some of his summer shows, but I quite like this one, guys. Uh, it's quite a good show. So we'll put that up there and we'll bring disc 12 in. So this is disc 12, guys. And we'll turn that one over. And this is called the Bicentennial Elvis Experience. This is from Ampton Roads in Virginia on the 1st of August, 1976. Um, a very tired Elvis in this show, guys. We get a, a very rare version of Return to Sender. Yeah. Not in his best form, unfortunately, but a good show nevertheless. So we're on disc 13 now, guys. So disc 13 is In Dreams of Yesterday, and that's Milwaukee, Wisconsin, on June the 28th, 1974. Another great show from 74. Yep. So we'll put 13 on there and bring in disc 14 now. So this is disc 14. And this one is the opening night at the Hilton Hotel, Las Vegas, on January, January the 26th, 1972. Yeah, great show. Just recently been released, or most recently been released by the MRS label. So this is disc 15. And this is called Running for, Running for President. Now this is from Charlotte, Charlotte North Carolina on the 20th of March 1976. There you go guys, another good concept. I'll put that there and we're on disc 16 now and we'll take a look at this and this is the San Antonio, Texas. This is from April the 18th 1972, part of the Elvis on Tour CD sets. Fantastic show, guys. Yeah. Don't need to say much about that one. Brilliant. So this is the 17th and the final disc. So let's turn it over and take a look. This is Steamroller Blues. This is the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee on the 20th of March, 1974. Everybody knows that album. Brilliant. Fantastic. So there you go, guys. That is the 17 CD box set. Um, disappointed with the front covers. I think they could have put a bit more, um, you know, sort of pictures relevant for each shirt, court concert, and instead of the plain black same cover, then that's a bit uh, disappointing. 
but nevertheless, a nice little CD set anyway. So this is the booklet that accompanies the set, guys. Now, there's just pictures in here, guys. I don't think there's anything to read in here. And the pictures we've all seen before. There's not nothing new, nothing super rare with these photos, guys. I do apologize about it, keep moving about that. I'm doing this one handed, guys. Yeah, but, so that's it, basically, guys. Yeah, so that's the 17 CD box set that I've just recently purchased. Touring in the 70s, volume two. So that's the video for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.